Thank you, President. The Commission has clearly listened. The draft mandate is indeed a clear improvement on previous agreements, though my colleagues have highlighted aspects where our concerns remain. I, I won't repeat those concerns, uh, apart from thanking, if I may, my colleague uh, Mrs. Hennis Pluscart for all her hard work for the Parliament. But I want to say uh, something on process and something on context. Recent progress is, I think, a tribute to what can be achieved when partners treat each other with respect and listen to each other, treat objections seriously and try hard to bring views together. As well as the Commission, I actually believe that the US authorities have made that effort of engagement and understanding. I would like to thank Ambassador Bill Kennard in that regard. He has, be, he has well grasped how the European Parliament works, perhaps uh, rather better than some of our member states. Now, uh, what we need is for the Council to make the same effort and adopt a progressive mandate. It was the failure of the Council last time to come to us with a serious offer of improvement meeting MEPs' concerns that made it necessary for us to strike down the interim agreement. For the last decade, and this is a point on context, authorities in the US and the EU have progressed in a reactive, even knee-jerk manner to real or perceived security threats. Sometimes governments have even been guilty of gesture or dog whistle politics designed to get media headlines or to label opponents soft on crime or terrorism. We can't go on like this and I look forward to a new start where we do base decisions, especially about data storage and transfer, on our basic bedrock principles of proportionality, necessity and legal processing. We need an audit of all the schemes and projects that have accumulated in an unplanned manner. And I'm heartened that, I, as I understand it, Commissioner Malmström plans to do just that so that we can get a clear view of gaps, duplication and over-intrusive measures so as to arrive at a rational, rational and effective security framework that does not junk our civil liberties. 